my beautiful friends, we have to talk. And we're going to do that. Um, it is Wednesday, March 13th, 2019. As I am doing this video blog, <laughs> uh, well, you shouldn't be surprised about this. Because I told you yesterday uh, that more than likely this was the setup. Stocks are higher across the board. Despite the fact that the entire yield curve, the middle of the yield curve, is inverted and the dollar is weaker today. I explained to you yesterday, this is a bullish setup. Um, it, it's an asinine, but it is. Um, I don't know what to tell you. It's the fake environment, the fake news, the fake everything else. Specifically, what I am looking at here is the Russell 2000, ticker I W. M. What I would like you to do, if you're even dreaming about getting into this market here, um, is go to my website, traderschoice.net. There is a link in the description of this video. I have a beautiful, free, for everybody, interactive chart for you. Put in ticker IWM. Look at it, play with it. There's all kinds of tools that you can use. I am not jumping in here. Um, despite this rally we're seeing. Again, I'm looking at the Russell 2000 um, above the other indices right now. Uh, and it's been very good to me, so I'm going to stick with it for now. As most of you know, last week I was short DIA, I was short SPY, and I was short the Russell 2000. But for now, I'm just eyeballing that Russell 2000. I would like you to do the same thing. So here's here's the picture once again so we can understand how sick this is. Again, a yield curve that is not a curve anymore. The middle of the curve is completely inverted. The dollar is getting weaker here. This is not a good setup at all for um, the, the general population. The middle class here is, again, it's getting set up. But it does not mean that stocks are not going to benefit from this. Every effort imaginable, people, believe me, is going to be put forth to prop the dog shit show up. That's it. Um, are we near the end stages here? Let me say this real quick. Um, the yield curve, the non-existent yield curve, is the biggest tell that we have that there are huge, and I mean huge, problems coming down the pike. This is not a normal environment, but everyone is going on as if it is. I mean, you turn on the confederacy of dunces, every single one, not just CNBC. All they care about is where Boeing stock is going, what the stock market is doing, where is cash moving with regard to the stock market. They don't care at all, and nor do they want you to have any understanding of what's going on in the bond market or the yield curve, how it's affecting things. That it's the biggest tell that you could possibly imagine. There's nothing bigger than the bond market. That is, the bond market is the largest aspect of this market by exponents. The debt market, bond market, same thing. The fact that we have the center of the curve completely inverted, I, can't, I cannot overstress this. Is, um, it's the biggest tell that you can imagine that trouble's coming. But again, that does not mean you cannot benefit from this market being rigged. It's our strength. And we need to exploit it to the nth possible degree. It's the truth. Um, there's no doubt about it. Look, there's people on the other side that are trying to exploit it too. So why can't we do the same thing? Not only can we do it, but we're going to do it better. Better than they can possibly imagine in the most simple way that you can possibly imagine. Again, I don't think there's a guy out here who has tried or is trying to make people understand that this is what we need to do and how to take advantage of it with everything that's free on my website. I've outlined for you in the description of this video how to take advantage of this. Don't let this pass you by. I mean, I'm telling you, I know it sounds crazy. But this is it. We need to understand where we are, the rigging, 
It's going to get worse before it gets better. Understand this is an election cycle that we are in. Um, an enormous effort is going to be put in to prop up the stock market until it doesn't. And uh, all the pawns are in place here. It should be no mystery to anyone why Secretary Mnuchin went to these specific six Wall Street banks back in December. These are the banks that run the Fed. They're buying the market with cash printed out of thin air. It's unlimited. They can do whatever they want. And that's exactly what they're going to do. But And you can see the ramifications of it. Look at the yield curve. This can't go on forever. It's impossible. But it will go on for a longer period of time. Anyway, I hope some of this makes sense to you. I really, really do understand the setup here. Uh, how it's being rigged. How it's being worked against you. How... You know, it doesn't matter. Human life doesn't matter here. Again, these two Boeing jets that went down here. <laughs> the stock must be protected. And the last time I looked this morning, it was gaining. Anyway, um, it's an ugly thing, people. And I think you're more than aware of that. With that said, I'm going to let you go. Do what I said. Ticker I W M. Go to my website. There is a link in the description of this video. Put that ticker in the interactive chart that I have for, for you. Look at it. Play with it. Analyze it. Gain some information for yourself. Because this is how we're going to rip the face off of this market. We're not going to get taken advantage of. We are not going to lay down and be fleeced. It's not going to happen. The setup is very simple. The middle class is under attack. The middle class is going to be extinct in a very short period of time. Choose what side you want to be on. You can do this several ways. Number one, bet against the debt and become your own central bank. Twofold, but part of the same thing. Acquire hard assets. The debt is going to continue to be inflated. Look at this new budget. Four, four and a half trillion dollars. We don't have the cash. We can't grow out of it. It's going to be borrowed, borrowed, from the Federal Reserve. World central banks are taking over the world. You understand that? If you don't see that and you still believe that this world is run by presidents, kings, queens, monarchs, or dictators, you got to stop. You got to stop being shoved in that box. That's not what's going on here. The world is run by central banks, and every world leader, every single one, is being puppetized by these banks. Period. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you go. I could go on and on with this. See you later.